Tarzan and the Diamond of our Share. Tarzan and his friends are encamped on the bank of a tributary of the Ubangi River. A tornado destroys their camp. The bearers desert, taking with them most of the supplies. And Larson, the sweet hunter, disappears. Wolf volunteers to search for him. While the ape man is investigating the swollen river, seeking a place to cross, his friends are surrounded by a band of great apes. Tarzan returns at the moment one of the apes snatches Helen from the protecting arms of her father. No, no, you'll hit Helen. The brute's got her in his arms. Freedom! Freedom! From the edge of the clearing, Tarzan screams his warning. He leaps forward toward the hairy brute. The huge man-like beast looks up, sees Tarzan flying toward him with lightning speed. He drops Helen, and with a cry of rage, turns to meet the ape man. Freedom! Freedom! Tarzan's rush carries him swiftly to the side of the great ape. With hairy arms spread wide, lips snarling back from fighting fangs, the brute screams at charges. The ape man leaps nimbly aside, then in, close. Bronzed arms flash out and under the grasping paws, then up to lock themselves behind the bull's head in a spine-breaking grip. Tarzan's legs clamp themselves about the ape's middle. With screams of rage and pain, the great beast tries to claw the man's things on its back. Tarzan's muscles stand out like ropes of steel as he adds pressure to his deadly grip. Gorda, and Gane, Gorda. Trying to the bull ape to surrender, Tarzan slowly, gradually forces the bullet head lower and lower on the ape's chest. Slowly, slowly, the huge beast is forced to the ground. One last effort. A low, whimpering cry, and Tarzan loosens his grip. He steps back. Nala, Angai, Nala, Nala. At the ape man's command to be off, the great bull climbs sullenly to his feet and backs away toward its hairy brothers. The small group of apes have watched the battle in silent expectancy. Now Tarzan walks slowly toward them. Angai. The savage apes back away from him as Tarzan tells the brutes in their own language that he is Tarzan, king of the of Kerchak, mighty hunter, mighty fighter, that in all the jungle there is none so great. Then, chattering weirdly, they turn and move swiftly off into the jungle. Tarzan's friends, who have watched the battle and its result in stunned silence, stare at him as he calmly approaches. Good Lord, what a sight. Why, it's, it's unbelievable. Par exemple, vous êtes... Qu'est-ce que je dis? You are magnifique. Lieutenant Arnaud is right. You are magnificent. Nothing wonderful about it. Just a young bull ape who needed a lesson. Forget <coughs> it. Forget it. You kill lions with a knife, handle elephants as if they were trained dogs, break the necks of crocodiles and subdue bull apes twice your size, and calmly say, forget it. Great Scott, man, what are you? A sovereign of the forest who has learned to cope with the jungle. Is he not, Lieutenant Arnold? I'm on my grass, just that. Simply a matter of environment, Gregory. If you'd been raised in the jungle, you would think nothing more of it. I, I suppose not, and yet... You're pretty well straightened out here. Most of the stuff will have to be left behind. About all you'll carry is rifles, ammunition, and a blanket or two. You said, Lieutenant Arnold, that you had been in the jungle for many months with no food. How did you exist? But we had food, and quite enough. Tarzan supplied us with that. 
wild fruit and game. Tarzan caught the animals with his rope. Rope? What would he do with a rope in the African uh, He used it just as the American cowboy uses his lasso. Oh, that's odd. Where did you learn that trick, Tarzan? In the jungle. But where on earth could you get hold of a rope in the jungle? I made them from grass. I still do. They are stronger than ordinary ropes. Well, as long as we're going to wait here for the river to go down, we might as well get this tent up, Darno, for Margaret and Helen. Back in the Tome Safari, the Gregory deserters are happily going over the stolen supplies. Atan Tome and Lal Tosk are conferring with Mbuli, the witch doctor. Mbuli, if I give fire water, will your water mission boys fight tonight? Who would the mission fight? The safari you just left. Those Buana are children of evil spirit. They belong to Shaitane. Be quite Buana Tarzan, much as Sherry, very bad. You sabe? You want for what the Mishi kill? No. No kill. Mbole make big medicine. Tell black boys go along Tarzan Buana and his friends. Bring back along me. Can do? Mm, can do. Want to give plenty fire water? Remember, no kill. If kill... No chumvy salt, no paces, no fire water. Mully me. Me go now. Make big dub of water mishi boy. Come big move tonight. Water mishi fight. <laughs> For liquor, they will do a little lal task. But nothing good will come of it, master. There is an evil breath in the air. The smell of death. Jumbo, jumbo, Mully. That was a fine job of cleaning up you and the water mission boys did. Where's Tom, Bonner? A guard Bonner there. Long Macumba Bonner, big friend. Wolf here. The fool should be with the Gregory Safari. <laughs> he has perhaps been found out, Tatan. Well, Tom, everything went off as expected. Huh? I told you to remain with the Gregory party, Wolf. What are you doing here? <laughs> Don't worry. They think I'm out looking for the bearers and Larson. What happened to Larson? I don't know. He disappeared during the night. Uh, I am supposed to be haunting him. Uh, what happened at the Gregory camp last night? <laughs> that storm was a godsend for us. Mm. The opportunity I was looking for. Yeah, right in the middle of it, um, Bully and his boys run away. And Tarzan didn't find out until this morning. Uh -huh. Hey, what's going on out there? Home bully making medicine for the attack tonight. Yeah, so? It's arranged then. For tonight, Wolf, at moonrise. Ah, but me? You will return at once. You must be there when the attack begins. I shall give orders for your capture at the first charge. Like a fresh scar on the green earth, the storm-ravaged camp of Tarzan lies steaming in the jungle. A semblance of order has been restored by the ape-man. Two tents have been erected. Near at hand, a third covers the few remaining supplies. Seated before one of the tents, Darno and Gregory are checking over a short list of articles left them by the deserting blacks. In the tent opening, Magra and Helen sit watching Tarzan as he unrolls a long, canvas-wrapped bundle. What is it, Tarzan? This? Oh, nothing much. Just some of my jungle equipment, as Darno calls it. Why, it is a bow and a quiver of arrows. Oh, Dad, come here and see what Tarzan's unearthed. What is it, mon ami? My bow and arrows and rope. <laughs> you call that a bow? Why, that little thing couldn't throw an arrow ten feet. You know how to use a bow, Gregory? Oh, yes. Archery is one of my hobbies. Well, I use a much longer and stronger bow. Would you like to try this little one of mine? Here, I'll string it. There. Here's an arrow. Here's one thing I'm no novice at. Now, what shall I shoot? See the dark spot on that tree over there, girls? About 50 feet, isn't it, Tarzan? About that. All right. Watch the arrow, dead center. Uh, great Scott, what's this thing made of? Steel? I can't budge it. <laughs> <laughs> what's the matter, Dad? <laughs> Here, let me try again. <laughs> I give up. I can just barely bend the thing. Here, Tarzan, let's see you shoot it. That dead stump down there beside the entrance. <laughs> Watch the arrow, Mr. Gregory. Dead center. Hey, what you been shooting at? Hey, ain't no lion. This been Lars Larson. Lars 
Larson. Tom Ned the Breath. Larson. He looks as if he'd been chewed by a buzzsaw. Oh, Mr. Larson. What happened, Larson? You terrible. What natives? What natives? The bearers. When you sent me down to look after them last night, they found them robbing the supply tent. When they tried to stop them, they yumped on me, tied me up, and took me with them. Took you with them? Where are they? I don't know. They yumped me again in the jungle, and when they came to, they was gone. Where, where is Wolf? Did they get him too, Tarzan? No, he went out over the back trail to look for you. He'll be all right. Uh, sure, but they came in over the back trail. They didn't see him. Look there, coming up the trail. Speak of the devil and he will walk in. And he's coming over the back trail. Strange they didn't see each other. Bien étrange, mon ami, and there were only moments apart. Well, not a trace of the Schmied, Tarzan, but uh, plenty of the Paris. Uh, they passed over the back trail. Larson is back, Wolf. Oh, well, I'm glad of that. When did he get in? It's funny you didn't see him. He walked in just a moment before you did, over our old trail. That's funny. I don't see how I could have missed him. Over the little camp, the sun sinks red and dry, leaving the jungle hot in the electric air of mystery and suspense. Twilight comes and passes like a blue breath. Presently, a great yellow moon leaps into the sky of black velvet, dropping shimmers of silver on the indigo waters river. Above the jungle chorus of the night comes the mutter of a drum. Tarzan and his friends are grouped about a small fire close to the two tents. At the faint beat of the drum, the ape man leaps to his feet. He stares off into the deep shadows. Tarzan, what is it? Listen. War drum. Yeah, sure. War drum? I don't... That drum is close. Close, mon ami? Bien, it sounds miles away. A native trick. They are close, beating the drum softly. To give us the impression they are very far away? Exactly, Margaret. Get your rifles, you men. Put out that fire. Right, ye! Here they come! 